Shalom Ya Sharala. First and foremost, I'd like to start this lesson by giving all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rechak Radash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who rule well and taught me this 100% truth. Double salutations to the Akim out there spreading this word in truth and sincerity. And Shalom to all the Akwaf listening in today. I'm back at you with another lesson entitled ignorance is certainly not bliss right and excuse me um you know allergies are playing up a bit this morning right but as i was saying ignorance is certainly not bliss man you know all you wicked jakes all you israelites that didn't want to take heed to the word right you you thought you had it all figured out right you thought that the prophecies would never come to pass right well guess what your ignorance isn't going to save you man your ignorance is not going to save you in the near future. You know, we've got all this madness going on, right? We've got crime increased. We've got death increased. Prices, the cost of living is increasing, right? Greater evils are on the earth, right? But, you know, you still got you jakes walking around as if nothing is happening, man. As if everything is normal. You, uh, you know, a lot of our people are still in la-la land, man. Besides everything that's being thrown right in their faces, man. People, you know, our rights are being stripped from us, you know. About a minute, you see, and you still got our people acting as if nothing is going on, man. They're just too worried about the first day of summer, right? Living their best life and just going outside in the sun and just taking part in some folly, man. They're too, they're too busy thinking about doing these TikTok challenges, man. Taking a part in some folly, you see. But they don't know that the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, are very pissed off, man. They're beholding all these things in the heavens and they're very, very angry, man. The Lord is displeased with, with, the, with the way society is being run right now. And the Heavenly Father, he's making his presence known. And he's going to continue to make his presence known, man. But you see, that's going to be uncomfortable for those of you who didn't hearken unto the truth, right? Because the Heavenly Father, he's going to speak through his judgments, man. You've got all this judgment going out and the people still don't want to take heed, man. Our people still don't want to take heed, man. You know, it's because of that pride. Pride has been elevated in this wicked ass society, man. Let's get Proverbs 16 and 18. It reads, Pride goeth before destruction and an haughty spirit before a fool. So you see, your pride isn't going to last you too long, man. You know? Eventually, that pride is going to have to come to an end and you're going to have to get a dose of reality, man. And that's going to be a... Uh, that's not going to be comfortable, you see? But, but you didn't want to take heed unto the men of the Lord, right? The prophets that were out there trying to tell you, trying to warn you of these things coming to pass, right? But you decided to trust in your money or you decided to trust in Jesus or Allah, Buddha or whoever it is, man. But you see, you're going to have to stand by that in these last days. You're going to have to stand for what you believe in, man. And you're going to have to see if it, if it uh, you know, if it was profitable for you in the end, Right? Isaiah 2 and 20, right? In that day, a man shall cast his idols of silver and his idols of gold, his money, right? Which they made each for one, which they made each one for himself to worship, to the moles and to the bats. So you see, reality is going to hit, man. And you're going to realize that, that, you know, your money can't save you. Nor can these false idols and these false gods that you worship, man. None of that can save you. Right? If you ain't calling on Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai in all truth and sincerity, right? Then you will not be saved from the calamities that's about to befall this place. You see? Wasn't 2022 coined as the year of the turn up, man? Everything is turning up, right? You got the left hand side turning up, but you also got the right hand side turning up, man. You got the men of the Lord going hard, right? Doing daily videos out there on the highways and the byways, and our people still won't take heed, man. Our people are still in la la land. Our people just don't want to hear it, man. They just want to do ignorance is bliss and just hope that one day everything will just go back to so-called normal, right? But they don't understand that what they once knew as normal is never to return again, right? We're heading into the NWO, the New World Order, which, we, which you know, I know a lot of you Jakes know about the NWO, right? Because as I always say, I was growing up as a kid, watching it with my brother, watching it with my cousin, watching it with my friends, right? Because back then on YouTube, you can get all these NWO videos, right? Before they started deleting them. So we know 
We all know about this, man. There's no excuse. And now you got the men of the Lord out here teaching his word and you still and you still don't want to listen. Are you through, man? Verse 21, Isaiah 2 and 21, right? To go into the clefts of the rocks and into the tops of the ragged rocks for fear of the Lord and for the glory of his majesty when he ariseth to shake terribly the earth, man. You see, you're going to realize that your, your gold and silver, your money, those false gods that you set up, they ain't going to be profitable in those days, man. So you're going to you're going to what you're going to go to the clefts of the rocks. You're going to try and hide yourself from the destruction of of uh, um of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, right? You're going to try and hide yourself from the judgment, man. But none of you are going to be able to escape. You see? None of you are going to be able to escape the judgment of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, man. You know? And there was, there, was a, there was another scripture I wanted to bring out. Oh, it just left my mind, man. Damn. It left my mind. But right, let's bring out this one. You know, we're going to bring out the same, pretty much the same scripture in Revelation chapter 6. All right? Revelation 6 and 15, right? Because reality is going to kick in eventually, man. The judgments are going to get so bad, you're going to eventually realize that this has to be of a higher power, man. This surely has to be the judgment of Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, man. So what are you going to do when you realize it's too late for you? You're going to try and hide yourself from the judgment. You know, the, those nuclear missiles, the, the um, uh, uh, concentrated fire coming out of those, uh, uh, those uh, um, so-called UFOs, right? The chariots. That's what I wanted to get. So why do you have Bashim Shai? What was it? Uh, Matthew chapter 12. Matthew chapter 12. Matthew chapter 12. Bear with me. That's it. Right? Because you see, you guys are so proud, man. Oh, I, I don't need no God. I don't fear God, right? Well, you know, don't you understand that the reason why society is in such a bad position is because the fear of the Lord is not instilled in this place, right? That's why it's in such a bad position right now, man. Because if you feared the judgments of the Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, you wouldn't be uh, uh, committing those wicked acts that you be doing, man. But you see, because the fear of the Lord is no longer on the planet Earth, we feel like we can just go ahead and do whatever the hell we want and, and ain't nothing going to happen, man. Ain't no one going to have to pay for their sins, right? That's what we think, right? Well, let's read Matthew chapter 12. And what does it say in verse 36? It says, But I say unto you that every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. So you're going to have to, you're going to have to, you know, stick, stick to your guns, man. You're going to have to uh, um, rely on what you always believed in, man. You know, you didn't believe that the day of the Lord will come. Well, you're going to have to stand on that when the day of the Lord does come. You, you, you know, you wanted to believe in Allah. You wanted to believe in Buddha. You wanted to believe in Jesus Christ, right? Well, guess what? You're going to have to stick to that when, um, when you know, when the, when the day of the Lord comes, man. You thought you were so big, you were so tough. You see people out there suffering and you, you, you say, oh, what? That could never be me, right? Oh, you see people starving, right? Not eating no food. Oh, that could never be me, right? You're going to have to give account for that in that day, man. When that judgment goes forth, let's read it again. Matthew 12 and 36. But I say unto you that every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment, right? For, for, for by thy words thou shalt be justified, and by thy words thou shalt be condemned, man. So you see, that's why we always talk about the power of the tongue, man. You know, the tongue is powerful. You have to be careful what you say, because it will come to pass, man. You know, you've got the angels constantly recording um, um, everything that's going on, man. The Heavenly Father, he beholds our every thought, right? Um, he, he, you know, the angels hear uh, 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 the words that we speak, man, you know, so you're going to have to give account thereof when the day of judgment comes, right? But you see, the day of judgment is going to be so bad and, you, you know, it's going to be more than you guys can bear, which is what you guys don't realise, man. But you think because everything is fine right now, right? You think because everything is fine right now that, that it's just going to continue to be fine, man. Well, really and truly, ain't nothing fine right now, man. The only problem is you people are still in la-la land, man, you know? But you see, 
when the day of the Lord comes, you're going to realize, man, and it's going to be too late for you. Okay? Revelation chapter 6 and verse 15, And the kings of the earth, and the great men, and the rich men, and the chief captains, and the mighty men, and every mountain, and every bondman, and every free man, hid themselves in the dens, in the rocks of the mountain. Why are they hiding themselves? They're hiding themselves because of the wrath of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. They weren't ready for that wrath. So you see, they're going to do everything they can last minute, man. You know, our people are the biggest procrastinators, man. You know, the scriptures say, seek ye the Lord whilst he may be found, man. But you're going to have two thirds of our people seeking the Lord when he may not be found. You see? Because they, they, they thought, they was under the impression, the illusion that everything calm, right? Everything crisp, ain't nothing to worry about, right? It's June, right? Ain't no C hip, right? Put the C and the hip together, you get the word that I'm trying to say, right? But guess what? When the Heavenly Father brings forth that, that great wrath, you're going to realise, man, that this weren't no joke. That's why you're going to be going to the dens and to the clefts of the rocks, trying to hide in your underground bunkers, right? Because you're going to realise that the wrath of the Lord ain't no joke, man. And, that, and you know, uh, what the men of the Lord were saying all this time has now come to pass, you see? And said, verse 16, Revelation 6 and 16, And said to the mountains and rocks, Fall on us, and hide us from the face of him that sitteth on the throne, and from the wrath of the Lamb. This is talking about Yahweh, why Yahweh shy, man. Who's the one that sits on the throne? Yahweh. And who's, who's, the, uh, who's the wrath of the Lamb? That's Yahweh shy, right? Verse 17, For the great day of his wrath is come, and who shall be able to stand, man? See, that's the point of the matter. The great day of his wrath is come. Who shall be able to stand? Because those of you who are who are outside of this truth, you're not going to be able to stand the wrath of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai when he does bring it forth, man. You see? That's why we're warning you now, man. You know, he's got his he's got his servants out there teaching this word, warning you that turn back, repent, you know. But our people still they, they, they don't want to hear it, man. They're too busy living their best life. You know, they're too busy worrying about the next holiday destination, right? They're too bougie to repent to the Lord, right? They, they want to live according to the wickedness of this world because that's, that's what's thriving, man. That's how you prosper in this world, you see? Right? Let's go to Romans 3 and 3. For what if some did not believe? Shall their unbelief make the faith of the Most High without, for, without uh, effect? You see? So it doesn't really matter whether you believe in these scriptures or not, man. Everything written in this book will still come to pass. It doesn't matter about your vain opinion, right? Your vain opinion is invalid, right? Verse 4, the Most High forbid. Yeah, let the Most High Yahweh be true, but every man a liar. As it is written, that thou mightest be justified in thy sayings and mightest overcome when thou art judged, you know? So... Let every let every let every man be a liar, man. You see, and let the Most High be true. We're gonna be justified in these sayings, right? When all these prophecies be popping up, be uh, be going forth, right? That's what you guys don't understand. And the thing is, the Heavenly Father, He's gonna put the Spirit on us to laugh at these calamities, man. Read the Book of Job, chapter five. You see, read the Book of Proverbs one, verse twenty-two onwards, man. We're going to laugh at you guys, man, because why are we going to be, you know, already the Heavenly Father, he, he's got us numbing, he's, he's numbing down his men right now, man. We see all this judgment going out. We don't feel sorry for you guys. Why don't we feel sorry for you? Because you didn't take heed, ultimately. You didn't want to take heed to the, to, to the men of the Lord when we was out there preaching, right? When we, when, we was on the, when we was on the various streaming platform spreading this word, right? You didn't want to take heed to us. So why the hell are we going to feel sorry for you when, when, when um, that judgment finally hits you? And it's greater than you can bear, right? We're going to be laughing, man, because you had all the time in the world, right, to, to, to repent. This is our grace period. Even now, with everything going on, our people still got time, man, but our people don't want to take heed. You know, summertime just started, right? That's all they're thinking about, man. It's some folly. You see, they don't believe in the words of the Heavenly Father. Right? But that's going to be to their demise ultimately. You see? Let's get Isaiah chapter 55 and verse uh, um, 11. And it reads, So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void. 
everything we've read so far right and what we're going to continue to read it shall not return unto unto the heavenly father void man what does that mean everything that we've read and we're about to read will come to pass man you know there's been many prophecies in the Bible that have come to pass already and you people still don't want to take heed, man. You people still think it's just a book of mere fairy tales, man. This is a living document. That's what you guys don't understand, but you'll understand once that wrath is put upon you, right? Isaiah 55 and 11. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it, man. So, you know... <laughs> This word, ain't, 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 you know, we're not just preaching these words for the sake of preaching these words, man. Really and truly, what we're doing is we're speaking this into existence, man. You know, just what you guys don't understand. When, we, when we're preaching this word, we're speaking these things into existence, man. And hell yeah, we want these things to happen, man. Because we're tired of trying to live righteously in a wicked ass society, man. We're tired of being at the bottom, man. You know, we understand that, that we're meant to be kings, priests, judges, right? But you got us here on the uh, on the uh, at the bottom of, of of society, man, and then you've got the basest of men, right, ruling over us. You see, so we've had enough of this, man. We just want Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai to come back down and 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 you know set forth that order, man. You see, Amos chapter nine and eight. Behold, the eyes of the Lord Yahweh are upon the sinful kingdom. Right, so you guys ain't gonna get away with your iniquity, man. You hear, you're here thinking that you know you can just do whatever the hell you want. You're in that do what thou wilt spirit, right? And you ain't never gonna have to pay for anything, right? But let's read it again. Amos nine and eight. Behold, the eyes of the Lord Yahweh are upon the sinful kingdom, and I will destroy it from off the face of the earth, saving that I will not destroy utterly the house of Jacob, save the Lord, man. You know because he's still gonna, you know, the heavenly Father. He's still got a remnant, man. That that elect. Right, but uh, you know the rest of you people, you wicked two-third Israelites, and you heathen nations, man, you're gonna be completely destroyed, man. You're gonna be utterly destroyed. You see, and that's just the truth of the scriptures, man. You know. Let's go to the book of Jeremiah. Chapter ten and verse ten. But the Lord Yahweh is a true power. He is the living power, an everlasting king. At his wrath, the earth shall tremble and the nation shall not be able to abide his indignation. Right? So these other nations won't be able to abide the indignation of our Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Right? When he starts bringing forth these judgments, they're not going to be able to abide it, man. Cain couldn't abide his, his judgment, right? In Genesis 4, he said his judgment is greater than he can bear, right? Well, well you guys are just going to have to deal with it, man. Because you see, for our people, you know, you wicked Israelites, the Heavenly Father, he tried to warn you, man. He had his men out there teaching his word and you still didn't want to hearken, right? You still wanted to do your own thing, right? Well, the Heavenly Father, he's just going to have to speak to you through his judgments, man. You see? And yeah, we ain't going to feel sorry for you because you didn't listen in the first place anyway, man. So now, you, you know, how, how did they say it? You made your bed, so you're going to have to lie in it, man. And you know, I've got this Jake here. He's just been circling my car, man. And you know, he can hear me. He can hear me speaking through. But he, he, he don't want to hear the words of Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai. Right? He don't want to hear the words of Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai. You see? Let's go to Jeremiah chapter 30 and verse 7. And it reads, Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. Who's going to be saved out of it? The elect, right? Those who um, suffered for the name of Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai. Those that seek the Lord in all truth and sincerity, man. Right? Those that were unwavering in the faith, unwavering in the gospel, you see? Those are the ones that are going to be saved out of the troubles that's to come, right? Let's read verse 11. And it reads, For I am with thee, saith the Lord, right? To save thee, though I make a full end of all nations, whither I have scattered thee, yet will I not make a full end of thee. That's again talking about the elect, right? But I will correct thee in measure, 
and will not leave thee altogether unpunished. You know, <clears throat> excuse me. That's why we be catching hell, man. You know, because the Heavenly Father, he, he, he you know, he's correcting us in measure. You know, really and truly, we're undeserving, man. But the Heavenly Father, he, he's being uh, uh, gracious upon his hopeful elect. You see? Because at the end of the day, we're in this wicked flesh and we're subject to sin, man. You know? The Heavenly Father deliberately set it up that way. But that's also for us to realise that we need a saviour, man. We can't do this thing on our own. You know? You've got you've got um certain Israelite groups teaching about the law, the law, the law, the law, the law, right? Saying that you're justified by the law, but they can't even keep the laws themselves, man. You see, that's that's a hypocrite, right? We understand we have law, statutes, and commandments, and we we uh um you know we, we rehearse them to the best of our ability, man. But we're still in this wicked flesh, so we can't get entirely right. You see, the only person who, who uh, uh, you know, followed the law completely and said not was Yahweh Shai, right? So it, are you saying that you're equivalent to Yahweh Shai, right? Let me see if I can find the scripture real quick in Ecclesiastes, Bubba Kusha, I can find it real quick. Ecclesiastes 7 and 20 For there is not a just man upon earth That doeth good and sinneth not Right? So if you're saying that you don't sin Right? That, 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 that's a lie man The scripture just said For there is, a, there is not a just man upon earth That doeth good and sinneth not Right? Because we are all subject to this wicked flesh we, We're saved by um, our faith and belief In Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai And by our works man You know? Uh, um, spreading forth that brotherly love Bringing up this word Edifying the body Doing things to, to you know to, uh, uh, to push forward this truth man In all uh, uh, truth and sincerity You see Let's go to verse 16 Jeremiah chapter 30 Jeremiah chapter 30 and verse 16 Right Therefore all they that devour thee Shall be devoured And all thine adversaries Every one of them shall go into captivity and they that spoil thee shall be a spoil, and all they that pray upon thee I will give for a prey. Right? So we're about to get our lick back, man. In the name and power of Yahweh Ba Shib Yahweh Shai. We're about to get our lick back. You see? These devils out here thinking that they got away with putting the Heavenly Father's people under that harsh captivity, right? And they, they you know, they're the modern day Pharaoh because they don't want to let our, they don't want to let us go, man. They still want to have us in servitude, you see? So the Heavenly Father, he's going to send his son, Yahweh Shai, to redeem us, man. It says in Deuteronomy 28 and 68 that no man shall buy us, man. Meaning no man shall redeem us. No man shall save us. But Yahweh Shai, he's going to come back and he's going to save the elect of his people, man. He's going to save the nation of Israel, starting with the elect on this side, right? And then the rest of the nation of Israel is going to have to be brought back in the kingdom, you see? Right? So these are, these are the times that we're living in. These are the things that are fastly approaching, man. But you still got our people in that ignorance is bliss spirit. As if nothing is going on, man. As if nothing is going on, man. You've got so much ju judgment going forth across the four corners of the earth, man. But our people are still acting like nothing is going on, man. You've got all this division, right? You've got all this wickedness. You've, we're, in the, we're in the month of pride, man. You know? And they're doing all sorts of weird celebrations this month because of uh, 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 the month of pride, man. You know, they've made that rainbow something abominable, man. That rainbow, what was the original uh, reason for the rainbow, man? Why did Yahweh, uh, the Heavenly Father, set up that rainbow in the first place? It was, to, it was to show, it was a sign that, you know, he would never destroy this place by way of a flood again, right? But now these wicked devils, they've gone and made the rainbow an abominable thing, man. Right? Supporting this, you know, alphabet agenda. I'm not going to say any more on it because I don't want this video getting taken down. You see? And our people are, are like, oh, yeah, yeah. Society's fine, man. They, they ain't nothing wrong with society, right? We, we don't need a savior. This is thriving, right? This is pure wickedness. You see? Matthew 10, verse 34. It's lucky. And it reads, Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword, right? So these, all these things happening right now is the sign of, of um, that Yahweh Shai is near, man. 
He said he's not coming to bring peace on earth. There ain't no peace on earth right now, man. There's so much division right now, even within our own households, man. There's division within our own households, man. But our people still think that everything is calm, man. There ain't nothing to worry about. Let's just go out there and live our best lives, man. We don't need a savior, right? <clears throat> you see? You don't know that really and truly you're being ensnared, man. Let's go to Matthew chapter 24. And verse 6, and it reads, And ye shall hear uh, of wars and rumours of wars, right? See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not uh, is not yet, right? You've got all these things happening right now. You've got wars happening and rumours of wars, man. But our people still don't want to take heed, right? Our people are still in la-la land because they're under the false impression that eventually things will just fizzle out and go back to normal, right? You see For nation shall rise against nation Right Look what's happening with, with Russia and Ukraine That's just one example man Nation rising against nation You see And kingdom against kingdom And there shall be famines Right You've got how, how much of the cattle in America just died man Just been deleted right And they're trying to say it's because of the hot weather right Well, well they, they, they've survived the hot weather for how long right why is it that now all of a sudden they, they they can't survive it you see don't you know that that um a famine is about to take place on a global scale right but because you guys go into the shop and even though the the aisles are looking a bit empty you can still get a little something right so you think that everything is calm you see it says the day of the lord shall come as a thief in the night man because you guys ain't watching you don't know the signs, man. You don't know the signs of the coming of our Lord, Yahweh Shai. You see? Where was I? Verse 7. Famines, and there shall be famines, and pestilences, and earthquakes in diverse places. <coughs> so lucky. You know, we've got so many earthquakes happening right now. You know? That is... is <coughs> so lucky. It's unbelievable, man. But you know, our people still don't want to take heed to the word, right? Our people still don't want to take heed. Well, that's why, look, the times that we're coming into, we're not going to feel sorry for you, man. We're not going to feel sorry for you people, man, because you didn't take heed. You thought that we we was, um, you see, we're going to be saved by the foolishness of preaching, right? Because you thought... That we was out here doing a foolish thing, right? When you read Wisdom of Solomon, I think I think it's chapter two or chapter three, right? It talks about how they um you know they 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 basically accounted our lives as madness, right? As the thing that we were doing was unprofitable, you see. But you see, we're gonna see whose whose works were profitable in that day, man. Because a lot of you people are looking at us like, we're bugged out. Well, that's fine, man. When, when the judgment finally comes, we're going to see who was really bugged out, who really had it figured out all along, and who, who, who was really and truly bugged out, man. Because those of you outside of this hearing, those of you outside of this truth, are going to be proven to be the ones that were bugging, man. Yet you guys right now think you have it all figured out, right? You know what, let, let, me, let me get this one real quick. There's many scriptures flowing, man. Proverbs chapter 1. We'll start at verse 22, man. We'll start at verse 22. And it reads, how long, right? How long will ye simple ones love simplicity? How long are you going to love this, 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 this mirth spirit, man? This hot girl summer, right? How long will our people love simplicity, man? And the scorners delight in their scorning and fools hate knowledge, man. How long are you gonna come up against this truth, man? And laugh at those who are laugh at those men out there doing the work who really and truly are trying to save you, man. Are trying to save you from the from from the from the wrath of Yahweh by Shim Yahweh Shai, man, that you won't be able to bear, man. Ain't no one on this earth gonna be able to bear the judgment that Yahweh by Shim Yahweh Shai has set for this place, man. So we're here trying to warn you of it, but you're here in your foolish spirit, man, in your folly spirit, doing, doing what thou wilt, right? Turn you at my reproof. Behold, 
I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make my words known unto you. Right? He's making his words known unto you people by way of his men. Right? Teaching his gospel and you still don't want to take heed. Because I have called and ye refused. I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. But ye have set at naught all my counsel and would none of my reproof. Right? I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. Right? When your fear cometh as desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind. When distress and anguish cometh upon you. Right? We're going to be laughing at you in, 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 in that day, right? But guess what? Verse 28. Then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. And why is that? Verse 29. For that they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord. Right? You thought that you don't have to fear Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. You didn't even believe in the names furthermore, man. Well, guess what? That's why we're going to be laughing at you in that day. The Heavenly Father, he's going to put his spirit on his men to laugh at you all suffering, man. Because you didn't want to take heed, man. You thought that we was all bugged out. You thought you had it all figured out, right? Well, guess what? Let's read Job 5. And we'll start at verse 17. And it reads, Behold, happy is the man who the Most High correcteth. Therefore, despise not the chastening of the Almighty Because it seems that the only ones really going through hell right now Is the, is the remnant, man Those that are trying to do the things that please Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai We seem to be the ones that's catching the most hell in this place, right? Because, you see, we're basically going against the grain We're, we're here trying to live righteously in a wicked society, man And we feel that, man We feel that, 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 uh, uh, that resistance, you see Right? And then ultimately, we're, we're catching help as a chastisement, man, so that to, to, for our betterment. This is why we're becoming so numb to the, to the wickedness of this place, man. So when the Heavenly Father starts deleting you guys in mass numbers, we ain't going to feel a way, man. We're going to be completely stoic about it and we're going to have that peace in our heart. We're like, well, that's the will of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. All praises to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, man. That's what we're gonna. That's the spirit we're gonna be in, man. You see, verse eighteen. For he maketh sore and bindeth up; he woundeth, and his hands make whole. And that's what he's doing with us, man. He's wounding us and he's making us whole. He's trying us like that gold in the fire, man. You see, verse nineteen. He shall deliver thee in six troubles. Yeah, in seven. There shall no evil touch thee. It says in Isaiah 54 and verse 17 that no weapon formed against thee shall prosper, man. You see? Verse uh, Job 5 and 20. In famine, he shall redeem thee from death and in war from the power of the sword. Right? So that's our hope. This is what the hopeful elect are believing in, man. This is what this is this is our hope, right? Isaiah 33 and 6 And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, man We're stable right about now Because we, you know Although there's a lot of wickedness happening on the four corners of the earth We understand that ultimately This is the will of the Heavenly Father, man Right? Job 5 and 21 Thou shalt be hid from the scourge of the tongue Neither shalt thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh, man We ain't gonna be afraid of destruction of the destruction when it comes because ultimately we already knew of the destruction to come. We by, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Ba Shim Yahweh Shai, we pretty much spoke the destruction into existence, man. Why? How? By bringing forth the word, right? Because that's all we do. We're preaching of the word, and the word prophesies of the destruction of this wicked place, man. You see? It says in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 and verse 8. That the that the the heavenly father, right? He shall destroy this kingdom by the spirit of his mouth, right? It starts off with the spirit of his mouth, which is the spirit of prophecy, right? Which is what the, the men of the Lord are doing right now, and by the brightness of his coming, man. So when Yahweh Shai comes back with those chariots and, and the, the fleet of angels, right, to, to, to um um bring forth that indignation, right? Job five and twenty one and twenty-two. At destruction and famine, thou shalt laugh. Neither shalt thou be afraid of the beast of the earth, right? Because we know ultimately, we uh, 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 originally, 
uh, even the beasts of the earth, they was made under subjection to us. So they really and truly, they should fear the Israelite man, right? And the Heavenly Father, he's going to he's gonna set that order up, man. But, uh, but for those of you outside of this hearing, right? Those of you wicked Israelites that didn't want to hear, the beasts of the field are going to be raised up against you, man. You know, the spirit of vengeance, you see? Oh, I, I, the, the scripture just came to mind, and I just forgot it, man. Um, um, that's it. So, what do you have about Shimia Uh, Amos chapter 5, right? Let's go with there. <gasps> so, like, <you. gasps> Amos 5 and 18 reads, Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. To what end is it for you? The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. Don't you know that Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai are two very pissed off entities right now, man? Right? And you guys are still here in your folly spirit, thinking that the day of the Lord won't come. Right? But it's going to get so bad. There's going to be trouble on all sides, man. That's what you guys don't understand. Amos 5 and 19. As if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him or went into the house and leaned his hand on the wall and a serpent bit him. So there's going to be trouble on all sides, man. No matter which way you turn, you are going to be in straits. Meaning you're going to be in times of difficulties, man. And that's going to be your judgment, right? Amos 5 and 20, shall not the day of the Lord be darkness and not light, even very dark and no brightness in it? So there ain't going to be no brightness in the day of the Lord, man. There's going to be a lot of wickedness, a lot of evil, right? Meaning bad times happening when Yahweh Shai returns on this earth, man, and the, the, leading up to that, which is already happening right now, right? Let's go to the book of Sirach real quick. See, because it, it, it's about to get bad out here, man. And and you know what? If you're hearing this message and it's invoked that fear in your heart, good. Because that's that's how it's meant to be, man. It says the fear of the Lord is the beginning of all wisdom, right? But but fools despise knowledge. You see? Because it's that fear of Yahweh Ba Hashim Yahweh Shai that will potentially lead to your salvation, man. You see? Sirach 39 and 24 reads, As his ways are plain, Unto the holy, so are they stumbling blocks unto the wicked, which is why the wicked of our people ultimately can't receive this word, man. And they ain't gonna receive this word, and they're just gonna have to know it through death by pain, right? Sirach 39 and 28 reads, There be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of destruction, uh, they pour out their force. And appease the wrath of him that made them. You see? So these spirits of vengeance are out here, man. You know? You got individuals just, just, you know, like look at the buffalo shooting, for example, man. Just mass shootings, mass killings, right? And, you know, it's not going to be limited to the humans, right? The animals are going are gonna to be a part of that spirit of vengeance, right? Verse 29. Fire and hail and famine and death. All these were created for vengeance, right? So you see, you guys are just going to have to suffer these things, man. Because you didn't want to take heed to Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai ultimately, right? And this, this is for you, for you Israelites, man. Those of you that don't want to hearken unto this word. Because this message is for you, right? The Heavenly Father, he don't care about them other nations, man. They're going to get what they got coming, right? The Heavenly Father don't care about the other nations. He cares about his, his, his nation, Israel. Right, The law, statutes and commandments were given to the nation of Israel Because the Heavenly Father is only dealing with the nation of Israel right? But right now, he's only dealing with the elect of the nation of Israel right? Sirach chapter 39 and 30 Teeth of wild beasts and scorpions, serpents and the sword Punishing the wicked to destruction right? They shall rejoice in his commandment And they shall be ready upon earth when need is and when their time is come they shall not transgress his word man so you see these wild animals these wicked ass individuals they ain't going to transgress the heavenly father's word man when he when he's telling them to kill 
right, to slaughter in mass numbers. They ain't going to go against his will. They're going to fulfill the will of the Heavenly Father, right? That's what you guys don't understand, man. Let's close out here. In 2nd Ezra chapter 15, we'll start at the top. In fact, before we get 15, let us... Uh, let's get 2nd Ezra 8 and 50 real quick. For many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter time shall dwell in the world because they have walked in great pride. And aren't we in the so-called pride month right now? You see, our people are walking in great pride, man. Which is why the, the judgment is going to have to be even greater. Right? See, the devil saith in his heart, and who shall bring thee down to the ground, man? Thy pride has deceived thee, thou that dwelleth in the clefts of the rocks. Right? You Edomites are about to be stripped from your power, man. You're about to you're about to be stripped out of that power seat, right? And you're about to be made the new um the new reproach on the earth, right? Bottom of the barrel, man, basest of men, slaves, servants, and handmaids, right? That's what you Edomites have to look forward to, man. You're trying to set forth this technocracy, right? This technology ruled uh society. No, man, you can get ready for, for captivity. You can get ready for subjection, man. You can get ready for picking cotton, man. That's what that's the future for you Edomites, right? And you heathen nations, right? But you Edomites are gonna have it the worst, man, because you you treated uh, the most high jewels, man. The Israelites, you treated us with, with uh, uh, no care, no compassion, man. None of that. You dealt with us completely unrighteously, man. So you you wait and see what we have for you in the kingdom, man. And leading up to the kingdom, right? You wait and see what we have for you, devils, right? Let's close out here. Second Ezra 15. We'll start at the top. And it reads, Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. Then in it saying Romans 3 and 3, So what if some didn't believe? Shall it make the belief of most high without effect? God forbid. Let the most high be true and every man a liar, man. These words will come to pass whether you like it or not. Right? Verse 3, Second Edges 15 and 3. Fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness, right? Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world. The sword, famine, death and destruction. So you carry on in that ignorance is bliss spirit, right? Because there's not going to be too bliss for too long, right? You guys are going to have to wake up and smell the coffee one day, right? And the thing is, that day is nearer than you believed. That you're going to have to wake up and smell that coffee. Because Romans 13 and 11 says, Now is a high time to wake out of sleep. For our salvation is nearer than when we believed, man. And the men of the Lord out here, we believe that salvation is close, man. Because look at everything that's going on around the world, man. Second Ezra 9 and 1 says, To measure down the times diligently, right? Well, we're measuring the times through the prophecies. And the end is screaming that it is here, right? So you carry on in that ignorance is bliss spirit and you see where it leads you in that day, man. You know, let, let's, let, let's close out here. Let's get Revelation 6 one more time, man. Let's get Revelation chapter 6 one more time. We'll start at verse, um, verse 15. And the kings of the earth and the great men and the rich men and the chief captains and the mighty men and every bondman and every free man hid themselves in the dens and in the rocks of the mountains and said to the mountains and rocks fall on us right and hide us from the face of him that sitteth on the throne and from the wrath of the lamb hide us from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai right for the great day of his wrath is come and who shall be able to stand man who shall be able to stand when this wrath comes none of you are going to be able to stand man you see so you carry on in that ignorance is bliss spirit, man. The Heavenly Father, he got you exactly where he wants you, man. In gross darkness, man. Blind leading the blind, right? Right into the pit, right into destruction, man. So you carry on doing your thing, man. The Heavenly Father, he's only dealing with his, with his elect right now, man. 
Lord willing, we be a part of that hopeful elect. Lord willing, Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai keeps that spirit on us to endure until the very end, man. Lord willing, Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai continues to cleanse us through his word right until that day, man. You know? Seek ye the Lord whilst he may be found, man. And with that, I will say Shalom.